Welcome to lesson 28. We're going to begin with an irregular verb. To bring, traer, llevar. Bring, brings, brought. Uh, leer como B -R -O -T. These letters are silent. B -R -O -T, B-R-O-T, brought. Will bring, bringing. Have brought, has brought. We bring our books to class. Traemos nuestros libros a clase. She brings her lunch to work. Ella trae su almuerzo al trabajo. Can I bring you some water? ¿Puedo traerle un poco de agua? He brought a friend to the party. El trajo un amigo a la fiesta. Look what they brought you. Mira lo que te traeron. They'll bring some wine. Ellos traeron un poco de vino. He's bringing his brother with him. Él está trayendo a su hermano con él. Do you want to bring a jacket? ¿Quieres llevar una chaqueta? We've brought our brother. Hemos traído a nuestro hermano. And another irregular verb, to leave, dejar or salir. Leave, leaves, left, will leave, leaving, have left, has left. She leaves the house at 8 a.m. I'm only going to read the English. What time do you leave? He left for Mexico last night. I left my keys in the car. We'll leave a note for her. I'll leave Friday morning. When are you leaving? They have to leave. She's already left. This would be she has already left in this case. Uh, she has. And the abbreviation for she has is the same as the abbreviation for she is. It's a little confusing. Past participle. This is more complicated advanced grammar for those who are interested. Uh, it's not really necessary for conversational English, but uh, I have included it for those who would like to know what a past participle is. The past participle form of a verb may be used in various verb tenses. So it is not exactly a verb tense, it is actually the form of a verb. It is usually used in combination with the verb to have, very similar to the perfect tense. Have you seen Francisco? Has visto a Francisco? He had never been on an airplane. Nunca había estado en un avión. The past participle form of regular verbs is the same as the past tense form. The letters ED are added to the infinitive form of the verb. I walk to work, camino al trabajo, in present tense. I walked to work yesterday, caminé al trabajo ayer, in past tense. I have walked to work every day this month, he caminado al trabajo todos los días de este mes, in perfect tense. The past participle form of irregular verbs is unpredictable. Some irregular verbs follow a similar pattern. Here are some examples. M is and are, past tense, was and were. Been is the perfect tense or the past participle. See, saw, and seen. Do and does, did, done. Go, went, gone. Tear, tore, torn. Wear, wore, worn. Fly, flew, flown. Grow, grew, grown. Know, knew, known. Throw, threw, thrown. Break, broke, broken. Eat, ate, eaten. Forget, forgot, forgotten. Forgive, forgave, forgiven. Freeze, froze, 
frozen. Get, got, gotten. Mistake, mistook, mistaken. Speak, spoke, spoken. Take, took, taken. Write, wrote, written. Read and translate 13. To go, ear, to work, trabajar, to think, pensar, to explain, explicar, to laugh, reir, to hurt, lastimar, or dañar, to wait, esperar, to return, volver, or devolver, to study, estudiar, to care for, cuidar por, to spend, gastar, or pasar, gastar dinero, and pasar tiempo, to spend money, or to spend time, to translate, traducir. Number one, the cat doesn't want to go outside. El gato no quiere ir afuera. The cat doesn't want to go outside. Number two, can we work together? Podemos trabajar juntos. Number three, I need to think about it. Necesito pensar sobre esto. Number four, he'll explain what to do. Remember that he'll is an abbreviation for he will. He will explain what to do. Él explicará or él va a explicar qué hacer. Number five. I love to laugh, but I hate to cry. Laugh, the pronunciation is como L-A-F. I love to laugh, but I hate to cry. Me encanta reír, pero odio llorar. I like to spend time with my friends. A mí me gusta gastar or pasar tiempo con mis amigos. He hurt his arm at work. Él se lastimó su brazo en el trabajo. He hurt his arm at work. They have to do something else now. They have, ellos tienen que hacer un otra cosa o algo más ahora. They have to do something else now. Where is the best place to buy tools? ¿Dónde es el mejor lugar? de comprar herramientas. Where's the best place to buy tools? Expressions 3. Get along. Llevarse bien. How are you getting along? ¿Cómo se llevan ustedes? Get around to something. Encontrar el momento de hacer algo. I'll get around to it next week. Me pondré a hacerlo la próxima semana. Get at, insinuar. What are you getting at? Insinuating. ¿Qué estás insinuando? Get away, escaparse. She couldn't get away early. Ella no pudo escapar temprano. Get away with, escapar con. He'll never get away with it. Nunca se va a salir con la suya. Get back. Atrás. Get back. Recuperar. Volver. Regresar. I'm going to get my money back. Voy a recuperar mi dinero. Get by. Funcionar. She gets by with very little sleep. Se pone a funcionar con muy poco sueño. Get changed. Cambiar de ropa. Wait, I have to get changed. Espere, tengo que cambiarme de ropa. Gets one down, se deprime. Sad music gets me down. Musica triste me deprime. Get down to, ponerse a. Okay, let's get down to work. Bueno, vamos a ponernos a trabajar. Get dressed. Vestirse. He's getting dressed. Ella se está vistiendo. 
Reading The Demonic of Gerasenes Then they sailed to the country of the Gerasenes, which is opposite Galilee. When Jesus had stepped out on land, there met him a man from the city who had demons. For a long time he had worn no clothes, and he had not lived, dwelt, in a house, but among the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he cried out and fell down before him, and said with a loud voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I beg you, do not torment me. For he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For many a time it had seized him, he was kept under guard and bound with chains and shackles, but he would break the bonds and be driven by the demon into the desert. Jesus then asked him, What is your name? And he said, Legion, for many demons had entered him. And they begged him not to command them to depart into the abyss. Now a large herd of pigs was feeding there on the hillside, and they begged him to let them enter these, so he gave them permission. Then the demons came out of the man and entered the pigs, and the herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and drowned. When the herdsmen saw what had happened, they fled and told it in the city and in the country. Then the people went out to see what had happened, and they came to Jesus and found the man from whom the demons had gone, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. And those who had seen it told them how the demon-possessed man had been healed. Then all of the people of the surrounding country of the Gerasenes asked him to depart from them, for they were seized with great fear. So he got into the boat and returned. The man from whom the demons had gone begged that he might be with him, but Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to your home, and declare how much God has done for you. And he went away, proclaiming throughout the whole city how much Jesus had done for him. We're going to practice a little of the homework. When does my ticket expire? Cuando expira mi boleto? When does my ticket expire? David's shoes are under the chair. Remember that apostrophe S means day. Los zapatos de David están debajo de la silla. David's shoes are under the chair. I need directions to the nearest public washroom. Necesito direcciones al baño público más cerca, the nearest más cerca. I need directions to the nearest public washroom. Where's the train station? ¿Dónde está el estación de tren? Where's the train station? Number 18. What time is it now? ¿Qué hora es ahora? When does the next bus come? ¿Cuándo viene o cuándo llega el próximo autobús? The red phone is better than the blue one. El teléfono rojo es mejor que el azul. Then better than in this case is k mejor k the red phone is better than the blue one she's getting married next summer ella se va a casar el próximo verano she's getting married next summer i have worn this shirt three times so far he llevado esta camisa tres veces hasta ahora so far is an expression for hasta ahora. I have worn this shirt three times so far.